Hey everyone, it's Duchess. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Duchess. This is my channel, Duchess Divinity, and we do lots of stuff here, but today uh, we're going to talk about how things are going to go uh, moving forward and into the future. So if you're familiar around here, you know that I have Cornica, my little cat. Um, some of you already know that she is currently in the hospital. Um, she's being rehydrated and she's needing to be force fed because she has not eaten for like five days. Um, I guess she is doing better though. I was away for my sister's wedding, uh, when she got sick. Um, she's been diagnosed with thyroid issues, uh, and she was doing good. She was on her medicine, but then a day or two after I left, which this has been planned for almost two years, um, and she was doing well and she was stable when I did leave. A day or two after I left, she started having severe thyroid um, symptoms of vomiting and uh, lethargy and stuff. So yeah, she's, she's in good hands. She's at the vet now. Um, but this just brings me to my point that the way I am doing things around here is not sustainable and things are going to change. Um, because for one, it's not fair to me, for two, it's not fair to Cornica, and for three, it's not fair in the sense that someday I want to have a family, and when I have human babies in the house on top of my animal baby, um, it's just not okay. Um, most people are wonderful and awesome and kind, and I know that those wonderful, awesome, kind people will respect my boundaries and will understand where I'm coming from. They will want the best for me and they will wish me well. Anyone who does not respect my boundaries does not wish me well after this video or in any situation um, when I haven't done anything to you other than literally work for you, do spell work, be there for you, be kind to you, go above and beyond. That says way more about you than it does about me. I'm fine with you leaving, honestly, good riddance, and I don't need a long, lengthy comment about how you don't like me anymore or, or what you want to yell at me about because I don't care. I don't need it right now. My literal best friend is in the hospital that's been with me through thick and thin, That my baby. So if you that's what you choose to do, you're just getting blocked. You're getting dropped as a client and good fucking riddance because you're sick in the head, if that's how you wanna to speak to me, for setting boundaries with your bad behavior. The world does not hold people accountable anymore, but guess the fuck what? I am here, bitch, to hold you the fuck accountable because I'm done with it. I am not your punching bag. I am not your slave. <laughs> Simply because you buy spell work from me, I'm done. So I will continue to update you on Cornica. Like I said, she's in good hands and she is improving, but we are looking for you know, possible tumors that might be on the thyroid or other issues going on. Like I said, I will keep you updated. Prayers, please. Um, you know, if that's not too much to ask, it's not like I've not given so much uh, free of myself, hundreds of videos, comfort in times when you needed comfort. So I know it's not too much to ask. It's crazy that people are acting like it's too much to ask or like I'm the problem um, because they are that selfish, narcissistic, and self-absorbed, but that's beyond the point. I'm done with it. And that's gonna bring me to my first point and my first new boundary is I'm having a zero tolerance for abuse, okay? I have had multiple clients over the years who flip out at me, um, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden they flip out at me because they don't know how to control their emotions or they make a choice that they didn't know how to handle. Um, like one of the freak outs I recently had on my birthday was because one girl got a twin flame check and then decided to request her twin. Her twin accepted her back. You'd think that'd be exciting and happy, but then she had to make a big deal about it, said it was suspicious, was like literally emailing me at 1 a.m. on my fucking birthday on my fucking birthday, freaking out because she didn't know what to do with her choice when in the twin flame check, I never told her to request him back. You'd also think she'd be happy. You know, you're that obsessed with this guy and now he wants to come back in your life. Don't you think you'd be happy? I don't know. It's just like people fucking lose it on me all the time and I'm not fucking dealing with it anymore. So obviously she got dropped, which was sad because she was a longtime client, but she had freaked out on me before. I gave her a warning. No more warnings. You freak out, you're done. 
I also recently had someone freak out because I was doing the giveaway. Oh, by the way, too, like, so that girl on my birthday, she spent a lot of money on me, and that was very nice. But just because you spend a lot of money on products that and services that you receive, and when you are working with me, I'm always giving you more than what you asked for. I'm always going over on time on readings. I'm always giving you extras in your packages, okay? You are always getting more than what you fucking paid for. You don't get more on top of the more. All right? Just because you paid for something doesn't make me your fucking personal slave at 1 a.m. on my birthday. That's sick. It's twisted. And I'm not a fucking afraid to say that. The other person, it's always the people, too, who spend the least that are the biggest pain in my ass. So I'm not doing um, cheap services anymore. I'm just not. If you want to buy something less expensive, you can buy a product from my Botanica. Um, but I am not. I my All my service prices went up. So you're either going to feel like it's worth it and you're going to buy them or you're not. And that's fine. I really don't care either way. We're in a spiritual war right now and I need to protect myself, my loved ones. I don't mean to sound rude, but my priorities are me, my cat, and my family. My current family and my future family. I, I love my clients and I care about my clients, but I need to put myself first. The other person literally has spent like, I don't know, like a hundred dollars at most in my shop over the last couple of years and was literally joining the free giveaway. Like you're welcome for doing a giveaway. You're welcome for doing a free giveaway. And the giveaway, I just asked for prayers. I asked for prayers for my cat and my grandfather because I'm struggling in those areas because my grandfather isn't feeling well and neither is my cat. And then when they didn't win the jar, they freaked out and were like, why didn't I win? Oh my god! Like, there's nothing more disgusting than that kind of weird, narcissistic, entitled, desperate energy. And then you wonder why your man doesn't want you. You wonder why you're stuck doing a call me spell and not and not getting results. Because you're weird and desperate and you're the problem. Like I said, I am here to fucking hold you accountable. Real friends do that, right? Real fucking friends hold you accountable. There's a reason you didn't get picked for the jar. Because you had... <coughs> underlying motive and negative energy my spirits see all okay and then when i said this is not appropriate behavior i can't think of a more rude or gross reaction to not being picked for a, gr a free giveaway when asking for prayers for my sick cat and then it's all oh like calling me fucking names i'm not fucking here for it and being like your spells are a waste of money they didn't work anyway i literally have emails saying, oh, I can see him looking at my TikTok story. I can feel him coming. It's happening. I have testimonials, okay? So if it didn't work and it didn't go through, it's probably your fault. It's probably something you did. Your weird fucking desperate, rude-ass energy. Like, why do you think these people don't want you? Why do you think they don't want to be in a relationship with you? It ain't me, okay? I'm here to help you and boost your situation. I'm not here to fucking pick up all the little fucking pieces. Oh, the other girl. Oh, I, I, I requested him. He accepted. What do I do? I'm freaking out. This is suspicious. I don't trust it. That's your problem. Not me. Not my spell work. You're the problem. Okay? And once I ban you and I drop you as a client, you're done. And I ain't giving second chances anymore. One strike, you're out. Okay? Because every time I give a second chance, it bites me in the ass. And I ain't doing it anymore. Especially when I have serious shit. I, I'm a person too. Yes, I'm Duchess, but I'm fucking Nikki. I have a life. I have problems. Y'all aren't doing anything to help me pick up the pieces. Yet here you are literally trying to call me names, yell at me, this and that. Fuck you. Plain and simple. Fuck you. Good riddance. I don't fucking want you here anyway. And then I had someone who I've given multiple chances freak out on me, call me a cult leader, say they want to hold me accountable, threaten me, threaten me. And I'm here to tell you that if you threaten me, immediately a return to sender is going. I don't care who you are. You threaten me, a, a return to sender of whatever you're threatening with, me with is going back on you. And my spells do fucking work. So I have had a business since 2019 because I am damn good at what I do. But I'm humble too. And I always, I'm very, you know, I'm a people pleaser. I like people to be happy. I like to make people happy. Not anymore. I am at a po turning point at my, at, in my life and in my career where I, I'm fucking done. These, these lack of boundaries, taking abuse from people, 
I've been doing it for years. I am not doing it anymore. You threaten me or harass me, immediate return to sender. You give me a hard time, you have weird fucking energy and you make me uncomfortable, block, you're done, you're dropped as a client. I, it is not my responsibility to touch you and your dirty energy. Like some people, you really don't realize how dirty or karmic your energy is. And I'm sitting here getting my hands dirty. I'm not fucking doing it anymore. I've removed several services off my site that I'm, I'm not doing anymore. Like I said, I'm not doing cheap services anymore. No more 10 minute readings. You want to sign up for a fucking 30 minute reading? Fine. I, I, I'm, it's affecting me negatively. It's affecting my life negatively because y'all aren't doing the work. Okay. And that's not everybody. I would be quitting altogether if it weren't for the amazing, incredible, powerful, accountable, self-regulating, smart, gifted, wonderful women that I have come in contact with from this work that I do. And I'm going to fucking give you a round of applause right now because you have fucking restored my faith in humanity. And I'm not giving up on you just like you have never fucking given up on me or come for me in a time of need. And I just saw 1111. Thank you for being amazing. And that's why I'm continuing the work I do because I fucking believe in you guys and I believe in myself and I believe we're making the world a better place. But I am not fucking mingling in the hellscape that is being created by people, losers really, who are refusing to take responsibility for their self, their life, or their own actions. I'm done. I'm done. So if you want to book these services with me, great. If you want to spend the money, great. If, if you feel like it's worth it, great. If you don't, like I said, I don't fucking need a comment. Bow out gracefully. You not liking my boundaries, as I said, says way the fuck more about you than it does about me. And I bet you never thought you'd see the day when Duchess decided to fucking stand up for herself. But guess what, bitch? I am. I'm done. I'm done with it. So that is my first boundary. Zero tolerance for abuse. One strike, you're out. And then you don't get to come back in. You don't. I'm creating an extremely sacred, powerful new earth space here. And part of that sacredness is going to be moving in secrecy going forward. I have given so much of myself over the years. I have shown my spells on camera. I have told you my own personal struggles. I have shared, you know, my past with abusive relationship, mental health issues. Not anymore. I value myself and I am worth more than what the general population of the public can offer me. Because the general population of the public is fucked up. And I am too good for the masses. And that shouldn't be conceded to say. It's just the damn truth. And I'm not doing it anymore. And like I said, any nasty comments, you're just getting blocked. Congratulations. I hope it was worth it. You'll never get to comment on my channel again. This is my space. This is my workplace. You don't run into your local bagel shop and start calling them names and start saying rude shit to them and expect not to get banned from your local bagel shop. Consider this the same. You don't have a plumber come in and he's fixing your sink and then you're like, well, the toilet and the shower are acting up too. You're going to do that for free, right? You just fucking don't. And then you don't call them names and say, well, fuck you. You're a bad plumber anyway. You don't do that. Get a grip. Get a fucking grip because shit's about to hit the fan. And I am not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that literally to save you. Okay? So get a fucking grip. Get offline and get outside. And, and start picking up the pieces of the mess you fucking made because it ain't my job it was never my job and i'm not doing it anymore okay on to the next boundaries no new clients unless for individual spells unless you are willing to do this i have an email it goes to lizzie it's called duchess divinity 1111 at gmail.com if you want an individual spell you will email her. If you are a new client, you will email her with this information. 
If you want to be considered for individual spells, you need to email Lizzie with a two paragraph essay, which is not that fucking much. I've written 10 page papers, okay? Two paragraphs. If you can't even fucking write two paragraphs, I don't even want to deal with you. Two paragraph essay about what you need work done for, why you want to work with me. Because like I said, I am damn good at what I do and I know it and I've been very humble over the years and this conversation doesn't make me any less humble than I am. It just makes me take accountability for my own greatness, okay? And I don't care. All the idiots will be like, oh, you're so narcissistic. Oh, you're so this. You just prove that you've never dealt with a real narcissist when you talk to people like that. Though I always say the worst thing that ever happened was therapeutic terminology like narcissism and gaslighting getting into the hands of the abusers and the general public because they're talking about this with no real education on the subject. Okay, I have had many years of therapy, more than half my life. I have put in the work to be the woman you see today. I am, I am miles ahead of where I was because I fucking worked hard and I don't want to work with anybody who doesn't want to fucking work hard. And like I said, it is a gift for me to work with you in a time like this. You all can feel it. I know you can, because I can feel it. The energy is slime. It's disgusting. And like I said, shit is about to hit the fan. We're just waiting for their next fucking psyop, like the 19, right? Aren't, can't you all feel it? So why the fuck do I need to get dirty in your karma that you incarnated to fix? Just so you can blame me because you're not putting in the work, even though I'm boosting you up with my spell work. Done. Fucking done. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's literally hilarious. But I had a therapist who said you cannot argue rational points with irrational people. So I'm, I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. Why you want to work with me and what steps you are going to take to put in the work for yourself. So you will send that two paragraph essay to Lizzie and I'm not repeating myself anymore. You can t review the video and write that down in your notes. From there, you will get a link to pay for a 10 minute consultation with me about what I have channeled after reading your information. That is if I even choose to work with you. I might just be like, no, sorry. Uh, then if you proceed, cause you will have a choice whether or not you wanna do the spell after I give you the price and what I plan to do. If you proceed, you'll be given a link to pay for your service in full and a date for your service. Okay, and we'll go from there. Then I'll get all your personal information and everything like that. Patreon. If you want to join the Patreon, that is also a fucking sacred space. I'm never sharing that link again. It is not willy-nilly. I reserve all rights to remove, to refund you. I will never take your money and not refund you. If you pay for something and I'm not willing to work with you, you'll just get refunded. Okay? But if you've been banned and I told you not to do it, don't fucking sign up. Because I'm just going to refund you and then I'll block you. So exercise some self-control. All right. Uh, if you... Oh, wait. Okay. So to join the Patreon, because that's a sacred space as well. You will need to give a two-paragraph essay to Lizzie at that same email. Um, DuchessDivinity1111 at gmail.com about why you want to join. Okay? And then if... I choose to take you on the Patreon and bring you into our coven because that's really what it is. It's a fucking coven and it needs to be protected. Myself and the girls on there need to be protected. The girls and Jeff, shout out, shout out to Katie and Jeff, um, our one, our one man. <laughs> I'm sure more men will come in eventually, but anyway, a little comic relief in this intense video. The link will be sent to you if you're accepted. All right. Moving forward, group spells. Some will be through the website and anyone who has not been banned can join those group spells. But I'm telling you the prices are going up. So I wanna weed out the ungrateful people. I want to weed out the people who don't believe in me. I want to weed out the people who, you know, don't think what I'm doing is worth a certain amount of money. That's fine if you don't think that, but I don't fucking want your energy there fucking up my spell anyway. Bye. I literally don't care. Um, I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just done. I'm fucking done. Uh, I want to weed out the people who are going to be a pain in my ass. So either you believe in me or you don't. Either you get results or you don't. And that's fine. 
Like, if, if you feel like this is not worth it and you're not getting results or whatever, like I said, I challenge you to fucking look at your own behavior and, and go from there. Or look at your own thoughts of me, because if you're thinking, like, you're so annoyed with me, like, the person who's, like, freaking out, why didn't you pick me for the jar? You picked everybody else! Blah, 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 blah. You really think my spirits want to give you anything when that's what you think of me? That's how you speak to me when I'm going through a crisis? My spirits are not going to give you shit. If you think negative of me, why the fuck would they make the spell work for you? It's a literally like, as it, Shireen talked about this one time, she's like, imagine talking shit about someone's kid to them and then expecting that person to like you. They wouldn't. So why the fuck would my spirits like you if you have all these negative thoughts to me, if you're sending me negative energy, if you talk bad about me to other people? They're not going to like you. They're just not. So group spells will be available through the website and anyone who has not been banned can join for certain ones. Like, let's say it's a beauty spell. Let's say it's uh, a crown of success, something like that, okay? And then I am going to have certain standard spells available on the website. Like, I'm going to get this really, really amazing new spell that I just did for myself for the Sorrowful Mother, where it's like you can sign up for the spell through the website, you'll get your little um, statue, you'll get your working and everything like that. Like, there will be certain spells available, but like I said, my prices are going to reflect the value of the work that I'm doing. And my prices are going to be to weed out the fucking chumps because I'm not dealing. I know I said it a hundred times, but I mean it. Um, okay, others will be more exclusive and participants will be vetted through the email to Lizzie. Okay, I already said that email. You can write it down. Classes and meditations will be available to anyone who is not banned through my website. So going forward, I'd like to do some classes like how we did. I have the Green Fairy Money and Magnetism class up there, but I will have some less expensive things like meditations or like how to make certain spell jars, just different stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then this brings me to my next point, okay? I channeled, and you're welcome for telling you this because I don't have to share this with you. I could keep all this shit to myself, but I don't because I'm a nice person. And I want to say again, I am not telling you this to scare you. I am telling you this simply because I like to share the information that I got. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to run with it. Take it or fucking leave it. Like I said, I literally don't give a fuck. Spirit told me, and I'm going to spell it out because I don't know if this is going to become something or like if YouTube will take the video down and that's the other thing like I am so fucking sick of this platform I am so fucking sick of sticking my neck out and getting spiritually attacked I'm so fucking sick of being like the messenger and the literally like attacking the messenger I am sick of being shadow banned I am sick of being uh having my videos removed I'm sick of getting community guideline strikes simply for existing meanwhile um, one man, one jar is making its viral rounds again. Like, this platform disgusts me, but that's beyond the point. I'm not giving up, and I'm just gonna keep doing fucking fluff pieces on here. And the real shit's been on Rumble. But, anyway. So, N-O-V-E-M-B-R, B-E-R, <laughs> one eight. They're doing something. So, I channeled this. Um, I don't know if they're going to actually pull something in real life on 1118. I don't know if they're going to do spell work or fuckery behind the scenes, because you know there's a lot of shit they do behind the scenes. Sacrifice, Flohemian Flove, for those of you who have been here a bit. Um... I don't know. Something's going down. I just heard that song. Hey, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. I do not know if it will be a physical in the public eye offense or if it will be a behind the scenes offense. But when I spoke to my astrologer, um, Maria, one of the girls on the Patreon, she said it's the last day. I think that like Pluto is doing something. If you want to comment, Maria, and just I don't remember. I'm not an astrologer. But she's like, that's a last day. Basically, it's a last ditch effort for whatever the fuck they're trying to do, which is bringing in the NWO and making humanity a slave race. But anyway, on 1118, some shit's going down and it's going to be ugly. 
and I don't know what it is. But Spirit has said that I need to protect myself and I need to protect my own. And they told me that I need to do a spell on 1001, essentially October 1st, because it's like the matrix numbers, right? Because the matrix moves in binary codes, the zeros and ones, right? So on 1001, we will be doing a protection spell and I will be doing a big protection spell and cloak and matrix hacking spell on myself and those who join and my loved ones. So it's going to, and it's going to be fucking expensive. Cause like I said, I'm not getting my hands dirty for just anybody anymore. It's going to be $811 and 18 cents. So 81118. You can email Lizzie with a two paragraph essay as to why you want to join and work with me for this spell can be made in two payments by established long-term clients only. If you've done spell work with me before, if you're an established long-term client, fine. I understand it's expensive, but it needs to be done in two payments in full by December 1st, unless we have a conversation about it and I tell you differently. Newer clients must pay in full. A home ritual once payment is made, an at-home ritual will be sent within 24 hours of the purchase. And then I will be doing my own giant spell working on my altar. Not to mention, I keep putting all your dumb ass, not, not all of you, but these assholes. I'm putting you on my altar. I don't have to fucking do that. Like, it's just like it clicked. I don't have to fucking do this anymore. Dude, I could literally quit altogether and just go be a nanny again until I meet the love of my life and have my own fucking kids and be a stay-at-home mom. That's honestly rather what I'd rather be doing. That's what I've always done and I've always loved it. But like I said, shout out to you fucking real ones who are actually out here making the new earth moves and who are doing so amazing. Like you're, you guys are the ones that are keeping me here. And I love you for that. Okay. And I want to keep working with you because you fucking inspire me and you lift me up and it's just incredible. And all the Salem girls and extra shout out to the Salem girls because you restored my faith in humanity. You really did. You restored my faith in humanity, so thank you. Um, okay, so yes, you will get the link to the at-home ritual within 24 hours. You need to give me and Lizzie time. And then also, you you will. I'm going to do my own big ritual. And you need to make sure you have the correct email so that I can then send you a video of that ritual. You will not see the entire ritual because I cannot be just willy-nilly putting this shit out there to anyone anymore. But you will get a prayer. It's usually like 20 to 30 minutes of me lighting the ritual, saying a prayer, and then I continue my ritual in privacy after that. Uh, no description. I'm not giving a fucking description at all. No, not you're not going to know until you see the spell. So this is on faith. If you have faith in me, if you have faith in my spell work and you feel called to sign up for this, you will. And you have the money to do it, you will. If you don't, I'm fine with you not signing up, okay? I'm not giving any descriptions. This is going to be very secretive, very potent, very powerful. And trust me, when you buy a $100 spell, you see the fucking plate. Like, I will post the best fall ever, the little clip I got of it. I posted a fucking feast, or I, I mean, I put together a fucking feast for those spirits. If you think I do a good work with a $100 spell, imagine what the fuck I'm going to do with 800 okay? You got to trust me. I might even throw a meditation in there. I'm not sure yet. But you will at least get the spell. You will at least get the at-home ritual. Um, yes, this is sacred and secret. Lizzie will send a link for payment. And long-term clients will have Zelle options. So if you've been, you know, there's certain long-term clients I've had who have used Zelle in the past for personal spells or for the Salem trip, that's fine. You can use that, but only if you've done it with me before. And like I said, Lizzie's going to take care of all of that. All right? So that's that about that. And then going forward, there's going to be changes on the Patreon because I'm getting too much spiritual attack because we're literally spying on the government all the time over there and I'm paying for it and so is corn. So there's going to be changes. 
So on Patreon, we're going to be doing a five minute check-in. I usually reply to people and give everyone my two cents. I am not doing that anymore unless I feel very compelled to. We'll each have our five minute check-ins with our Zoom. And then each girl, or Jeff, <laughs> will bring a new earth idea and present it to the group, okay? And then we will do up to two channelings per video so I don't get worn out and the topics will be heavily monitored. And then we will close with a meditation of the new earth so we can literally imagine the ideas that have been presented forward to us. Because what you focus on is what you create. And I am a new earth leader. I am a new earth teacher, whether you like it or not, okay? That's who I am, that's what I'm gonna, whether I like it or not, because honestly, it's stressful, okay? It's fucking, you think this shit's easy? Anyone who thinks that a spiritual journey is all butterflies and rainbows, love and light isn't having a real one. It is tough, to say the least. So we are going to focus on the world we want to see. We are going to focus on the world we want to create. We know enough about what's going on in the evil realms. We don't need to know about every fucking ritual that they do. We just need to know how to combat it. And we just need to focus on what we want instead of focusing in every other nasty direction that the government and world leaders and society as a whole wants us to focus. So that's, that's the new shit going forward. I still want to do readings. I'm still going to do the readings. I'm still going to do whatever I feel like on this channel. But if you want to work with me, I just saw 3111. If you want to work with me, if you want me to touch your energy, you're, then you're going to have to follow my new rules. And I'm sticking to them, okay? Because <laughs> I had some someone freak you out too, like, hey, you, don't, blah, blah, you don't even follow your own rules. Well, guess what, bitch? Now I do. Thanks a lot. Y'all pushed me to this position and I'm happy you did. Because now I have to suffer less. But anyway, that's it. Thank you to those of you who have supported me throughout all the years. Thank you to new people. Thank you. Thank Just fucking thank you to those of you who are cool. And thank you to those of you who aren't because you've pushed me into this position of no longer wanting to be a, a people pleaser. So I'm grateful for it all. Like I say in my fucking prayer that I made up, that's my prayer. I say, we are grateful for the ups, the downs, the challenges and the blessings because we understand that it makes a well-rounded individual in this very polarized reality. So for this, we say thank you. And I'll be fucking honest, my faith has been extremely challenged over these last two years, but particularly these last couple months. I have had every reason I give up on life, honestly, but I'm not because I'm different now and I'm going to stick it out. If I incarnated down here, I'm going to stick it out till, till God takes me, source, universe, whatever you fucking believe in. I'll stick it out until it's my time. I'm not giving up. I'm not going away, but I am going to do things differently. So thank you, no matter who you are, no matter how you've treated me, ultimately, you have helped me on my spiritual journey and on my career journey and on my life path. So I hope those of you who are cool stick around. I'm ready to say thank you fucking next. Goodbye to those of you who are not. And I'm really excited for the future. I'm telling you guys, shit's about to pop off for me too. Like, yeah, shit might hit the fan, but I'm telling you, the same way when I had 10 subscribers and in my first videos, you hear me saying thank you so much to my first 10 subscribers. I know I'll have so many someday. And now I'm just shy of 30,000. Like I was right. Because that's the thing about me is I'm, most of the time I'm right. Not to sound braggy, but I am. It's my gift. It's source talking through me. And I know I'm right about this one. I'm about to fucking pop off. And that's why I have to be less accessible. And that's why I need to have higher standards and higher boundaries. So to the real ones, I'll see you soon. To those who are done, bye-bye. And yeah, I'll hit you with a reading when I can. When I'm done, because uh, I have certain clients who are waiting for readings because I've been very emotional, emotional about the corn stuff. I have certain packages that need to go out. Um, so... Yeah, I'll hit you with a reading once I gather myself. Please leave your prayers for Corin below. Please leave your testimonials below if you want to share, you know, how I've impacted you positively. Um, and I love you guys. And I'll see you soon when I can. All right, take good care. Bye-bye.